Okay, let's get on to this. Basically, we've got the Tim Cast Legion of Doom. This was huge. Tim apparently does a podcast out of his trailer, and somehow Joe Rogan uh, and Alex Jones all popped in at the same Bro, time. They got the vibes so perfect in that fucking trailer. Like, it just looks so. Like the filter that they applied or the lighting makes it look so much smellier than it actually, than it, I mean, it, perfectly smelly, like the way it is, the way it's supposed ah. to be. Yeah, so we made a super, it was three hours long, but we made a super cut of our favorite moments here. So let's take it one bit at a time. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So Joe Rogan in the house. <laughs> Alex Jones, ladies and gentlemen, right about basically everything. By the way, sorry, I'm already pausing, but you can really appreciate what a goblin Joe is in that that setting you know yeah yeah he's uh it's kind of funny because it's like everyone is so excited to be around him like this is their guy mm. this is mm. like i i i think he he's like a cow you know what i mean a beautiful cow running through the field ripe and ready to be suckled on the teats of and all these little baby sows or little baby cows are like running up to him like joe give me give me a little bit give me a little bit of your titty i need to utter joe yeah, and that's he, that's basically the vibes of the entire fucking two hour, three hour, whatever. Uh, yeah, he's podcast. become their idol for sure. Thing finally, it's all coming down. The truth is coming out. So Thomas Jefferson was in the Illuminati. Bunch of demons. <laughs> Joe Rogan is the forty sixth president of the United States. I smell sulfur. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> People are just giving us money. <laughs> yeah. So that that was awesome. Did you see? Yeah, I I saw the super chats. It's like five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. And, you know, nothing perfectly shows the grift. Someone said Tim Pool made 10K, I think. Like, there's, like, data wow. that you can track. He made 10K from the two-hour podcast from the donations alone. That's pretty incredible. And that that's the grift, right? That That's it right there. Yeah. You tell people what they want to hear. You make them feel smart. You make them feel privileged. And they give yeah. you money. It's awesome. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's how it works, Tim. <laughs> Alex Jones is wanting a piece of that after his ass just got served a Bro. few. Uh, he's getting he, Alex Jones about to be bankrupt. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's got. I don't know what kind of insurance you have to protect yourself from situations like that where you lie about a fucking mass shooting uh, I think, happening. I don't think Alex Jones is insurable. <laughs> first of all, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and by the way, I just uh, do you find it a little fucked that Joe Rogan, who tries to maintain himself as kind of like a you know, open-minded, middle-road guy is happy to associate with someone like Alex Jones, who now has been found guilty, at least by default anyway, uh, enough though, of, of harassing the parents of children who were murdered in Sandy Hook. Uh, Alex Jones is a fucking vile, psychotic conspiracy theorist. He's entertaining yeah. and lovable. I mean, look at his face. He's a fuck. He looks like psychotic, uh, you know, Santa Claus. I I'm fascinated with Alex Jones. We've talked about this before. When I when I came on your podcast once, like I I wish that we were at a point in our uh, society where everyone is educated enough to like appreciate Alex Jones in the same way that I right. do, where you just see him as like an entertaining figure. In the same way that, like, for example, Linklater saw him originally and, like, literally put him in, like, a bunch of movies. Because Alex Jones was in a bunch of movies, Scanner Darkly. Like, he played himself or it's a conspiracy theorist. And, like, wasn't that Linklater? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Richard yeah. Linklater put him in a lot of movies famously, like, um, uh, uh, playing, like, the role of a conspiracy theorist, you know, Firebrand, whatever. And I love, like, I love how entertaining he can be. But also, I understand how damaging it is when, like, so many people are brain diseased and think he's being on. Way too dangerous. He's, a, yeah. he's he's just, he's, I don't think you can honestly, like, I don't, Joe co-signs him. I mean, he really yeah. does. And that, no, that's, he, he, he was, it's not okay. He, he would be the greatest entertainer, like, one of the greatest entertainers if, if uh, he was not such a fucking horrible monster and his followers did not actually believe everything he was saying. Yeah. Well, Joe Rogan co-signs that he the new meme now is like he's been right about everything. He keeps saying shit like that, yeah, uh, which yeah. comes I'm, up later. I'm, I'm already, so it's <laughs> this guy. Right I, just, I just sent you a text message right. with a meme. It's an amazing <laughs> meme is. with Alex, comedian <laughs> by the way. This it's one of my favorite memes. It's but, like it's a you are here meme. He's such a fucking boomer, dude. Alex has come on, bro. Come that is, <laughs> you're such a fucking boomer. Like Jesus Christ, he went from like 
being a comic that I appreciated and like, you know, people have always said like his, his comedy is mid, but I mean, I, I liked some of his specials to like, hey, look at this Facebook meme I found that my, you know, that my children sent me. Take a look. Here, I'll send it to you. <laughs> it's like, ugh, come on. You are right now? <laughs> Make that larger. Make yeah, that meme larger. Look at that shit. That Your TV spying on you. Check. Bohemian. Elite cabal of sex traffickers. Check. Are we uh, not Chuck? They're turning the frogs gay. Check. Yeah. It's like hermaphrodites. <laughs> it's hermaphrodites, Quite right? Gay, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Bohemian Grove, check. What is Bohemian? We know so, Bohemian Grove. Yeah, yeah. So here's the thing, okay? And this is something that like Alex Jones gets a lot of credit for for some fucking weird reason. I'm a huge conspiracy uh, lover. I love conspiracy theories. Um, your TV spying on you is correct. Elite cabal of sex traffickers, you could absolutely say, exists the in the form of like, you know... Uh, Jeffrey Epstein and and whatnot, um, certainly, right? Uh, whether it's like you know CIA compromise, there is there is legitimacy to a certain degree, not in the way that like Alex Jones is portraying it. They're turning the frogs gay is not like they're not turning the frogs gay, but like pesticide is actually changing their uh, hormones and and um, you know turning frogs into uh, I think they're turning the frogs trans kind of hermaphrodites, yeah, uh, hermaphrodites. Bohemian Grove is a fucking club that is well documented. Yeah. I know people that have literally worked there in the past as well. It's uh, it's just a place for like conservative rich men to get away from their wives and like you know express their desires to be theater kids. Yes, alongside celebrities. Richard Nixon famously said like the f word when talking about it. He's like, oh, a bunch of you know, it's tur everywhere is turning into the Bohemian Grove. A bunch of f wordy, uh, you know, rich people dancing around in the woods, frolicking in the woods, and that is what they do. So it's not as like severe because the elites when they get together. They're not getting together at the fucking Bohemian Grove to like figure out what they're doing. They're getting together in Sun Valley, Idaho. Okay, it's Sun Valley, Idaho. They do this once a year. That's where Jeff Bezos decided to purchase Washington Post. It's it's in front of your eyes. They get together at the Davos summits. They get together at the Aspen Ideas Festival. They don't have to go to the fucking. They don't need an grow. occult ritual to fucking. Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing is is silly. Silver so. iodide is bullshit. Turns you blue. Rich people using baby blood. True, literally true. Blood boys. Peter Thiel has blood boys. Uh, so there is not baby blood, but you know. Wait, what the fuck are you talking about? So, uh, blood boys is a very real thing. This blood is not boys. Yes. Okay. So Peter Thiel uh, and other he's people. A conservative. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's a huge libertarian. And do they? Well, 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 did are they thinking of him when they give the check mark no. here? No. Yeah. They're just like using this to. Okay. What does he do? Tell me about the Blood Boys. So Blood Boys is when you get um, like a young, a young lad. How young? Come we and talking? give you like 17, 18, whatever, okay, like okay. younger uh, person to, uh, do a blood transfusion with. Okay. And they believe that it has like potential healing properties and also like, you know, Peter Thiel does that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I mean, it's just a blood, but like they, a Silicon Valley made fun of it, but it, it is literally real. So they do just an unnecessary blood transfusion. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Tech well crunch. No, Peter Thiel is not harvesting himself with the blood of the young. Like it's not, they're not bathing in virgin blood or anything like that, but they do actually do blood transfusions in a similar way that like, uh, what's the, the guy with the one ball, uh, Michael, the, the biker. Oh, uh, Lance. 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 Yeah. Armstrong. Like Lance Armstrong, not Michael. Lance Armstrong, uh, Lance Armstrong did that. Like people that want to cheat in the Olympics do the same, the same exact thing. Really? Yeah. So they get that young blood in there. By the way, there's literally a fucking company by the way Thiel has been interested in cheating death for several years he told business insider back in 2012 death is a problem that can be solved the company is called ambrosia which got uh which takes donated teen blood and pumps it into anyone age 35 or older for eight thousand dollars a pop well that is interesting and a little creepy but i don't know if that would say that's rich people using baby blood no 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 Th that's what i'm saying they take something this is something that conspiracy theories do because theories do regularly they take something that's like real that's insane, mm. okay? But instead of just being like, that's real and it's insane, they turn it into something that is surreal and psychotic and... Well, the, their theory you know, was that blood they, they used the blood of babies. There's some magic in it. What was it called? Mydrocrotochrome or some shit like that. Adrenochrome? Yeah. Yeah. So, but anyway, here. Silver iodide. Not what, really what is sure. That? 
Not uh, really sure. It's not people real. using baby blood. I'm not. That's sure. true. No, it's, it's happening down in Mexico right, right now. No, it is, is, is it really? Yes, it is. Disgust. People are are doing that. Yep. You are here, human monkey chimeras. No, I'm looking forward to that. Which he predicted a long time ago. Well, where's that? Where's that? Where's the? Wait, monkey you're thing? saying the elves aren't real? That's no, the, no, that, that's next. Well, the elves it's are like, real. This is what of course they're real. <laughs> they're coming next. And then I talked to a lot of people that were uh, the Second Amendment advocates. They were saying before the election, they were going back into their Instagrams and their Facebooks and finding posts from eight, nine and, years and ago. And making and, and let's just briefly look at that. For those posts. Imagine, it's one thing for a, uh, an orthodoxy to take over and make you comply, but to punish you before it took over is thought crime before. I mean, this is mind control. This is yeah. this is this is like in science fiction. This was never dreamed. I don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. People they're talking about people getting banned. Time. They're talking about people getting banned from Facebook because, like, at the end, at the end of the day, like, there's a bunch of fucking boomers, like, saying the government's censoring us or private corporations. They had are old censoring photos us. on their Facebook of them with guns, and then they. The I don't even believe that that's a real story. For the record, yeah. like, he's, he's, he's a fucking anecdote at best. And not this only is a thought crime, they're going back in time and, and punishing us for for old yeah. photos that come to our house. And ninety percent of the time, like when you, it's so hard to get banned from fucking Facebook and Twitter and shit. Like I have literal psycho stalkers and shit that I like report regularly, mm. and they still pop up with like sock accounts and stuff. So it's just like it's total bullshit that uh, you know it's these guys are getting banned so easily for being conservative. It's like no. They probably were like literally being like, I'm going to murder you. And yeah. then that's why they got fucking banned. Not because they have yeah. uh, photos of guns. The, yeah. Of where you're punished for behavior before the new orthodoxy comes in. So you don't just submit in the current state. You're going to pay for not adopting it. He's before such it a was unit. The new you really get that. You, this isn't not science fiction. This is what they did in the Soviet Union, where if you were on the wrong side before Stalin yeah, took Facebook over, you were good. executed with your family. Yeah. But so this has historical <laughs> precedent. No, I know. Wait, wait, pause for a I love that. I, I, yeah, no, the, the Soviet Union, they would uh, throw you in the gulag. Yeah. And that's the same as like you getting banned off fucking Mark, Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg is coming to uh, to uh, disappear you in the middle of the night. Meanwhile, they're having this conversation about Facebook. And that's the most insane part of this, because it is literally by far the most heavily right wing slam yeah. fucking website out of all the major social medias that like if you look at the top 10 posts top 10 uh, best performing posts on Facebook every week and Kevin Ruse of the New York Times like closely tracks ben stuff. Shapiro, ben Shapiro, Ben Shapiro, Breitbart. Dan Bongino, Breitbart. Like, yeah. it's literally always like far right news. Like, what do you want? What more do you want? Well, that's why they get Facebook. They, they turn, they're they just turning into a right wing conspiracy stomping ground because they're pushing them, pushing them, pushing them. They got all these boomers using it. It's turned into their bread and butter in America at least is just uh, white, angry, Christian, conspiracy theorists and yeah. uh that's that's their dollar that's fucking their market terrifying. what point would you start red pilling your kids or do you that's well, fucking awesome dude i love the idea of red pilling your kids oh they, I, you know I'm after gonna, joe leaves yeah i'm i'm gonna black pill my i kid. did not watch the rest of this but like i watched the first hour when joe was there and that dude in the middle is like a quote-unquote journalist he's like one of those like fucking andy no types right and he was used as a witness on the trial, in the Kenosha trial. Hmm. Uh, that's why he's there. And he was just blurting the entire time in the first hour. He was just blurting right-wing talking points like Sean Hannity. And you can see Joe Rogan is so annoyed. He's like, why the fuck is this loser that's sitting behind me even having a say in this conversation? I mean, he's in a trailer with fucking Tim Pool. His credentials aren't that much more interesting. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying that like, well, he was very problem. obvious that he fucking I'm hated not. this dude. I've left my children alone, mm -hmm. and I've got four children. So one's like 19, one's 17, one's 13, one's four. But I always think of Please stop having kids, Alex Jones. That's <laughs> too, what are you, just four or five kids? I mean, damn, My dude. child is the, the youngest the way, one, and, and I'm... It's not an accident that Alex Jones is sitting next to conservative trans commentator Blair White, for the record. We do know he's the chaser, Okay. Oh, that's true. He left the browser open. Mm-hmm. Alex is into the trans porn. Mm-hmm. And yeah. apparently, like, uh, apparently, I don't know if Blair talks about it in this one, but apparently he, like, was it Alex Jones that reached out to her when she had, like, 10,000? Propositioned her? 10,000. For sex? When she had 10,000 followers, like, like when she was first starting off. like Propositioned he was, her for sex? I think it was Alex Jones. Let's I wanna, go! I don't want to slander Alex Jones, but we know for a fact that he's a chaser. Oh, you, we you saw can his, slander Alex Jones. We saw his, uh, you know, we saw his, we got the documents, we got a, here's Ariel, 
Yep. Here's a aerial view of Alex Jones' phone. We can see he's looking at uh, you know trans porn right there. Naughty T babe Marissa. That's the dude. That was the best right. clip up of all time. He's like, it's like, dude, if it's on your phone too, like, how desperate are you? Like, I, yeah, he left. I, I the, use my fat top. You know, he he's like, he's like, I really need to get this one out. Well, he <clears> left <throat> the browser open. That means that he just he nutted was in like post nut. You Always know, delete your browser. Days. Left the browser open. That's so good. Yeah. And a ding dong. That's the best thing ever. Yeah. I mean, good for you, Alex. Get it. Like, that's why I feel guilty. It's like she knows how to run. Like, I don't know how to turn the TV on. So I don't watch a lot of it. It's like all these. She says, I want to put music on. I want my blah, blah, blah. She's like, meh, meh, meh. and all of a sudden, Sanjay Gupta. And I'm like, grilling a steak. And I'm like, huh? And I'm like, greedily <laughs> eating it. I'm like, huh? And then amazing. like Gupta's do So I go turn it off. She throw, I'm telling you, my daughter is, is like, like a demon conjuring Sanjay Gupta. So this happened His daughter's like five a days demon. ago. So we got a fucking red pill her quick. We got to exit. I don't got kids. Don't look at me. Are you just I'm like a four year old daughter? The best part was Tim's here. You guys didn't remember he famously was like, I'm single and it's not my fault. It's the whole world's fault. So here is a little sad uh, Tim Pool. I don't got kids. Don't look at me. Are you just like. Stu Nobody was looking at you, bro. Nobody was looking. It's because he goes on dates and he's still wearing the beanie, dude. Just take the beanie off on one of these fucking dates, dog. I swear to God. I we're feel gonna like get, it's got to be worse. We're going to get what's you some on, pussy, homie. What, what's we're under do there it. has got to be worse than 34 the 34 and I have no family. Because my, my dad had two kids by the time he was 27. Yeah. And I'm like, man, you know what? You know what the problem is, though? It's definitely not me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> I love that video because it's like it's literally the meme. Like he he doesn't even realize like it's not me, it's everyone else. I like, don't got kids, don't look at me. <laughs> poor guy. Oh, poor Tim. He's not like terrible looking. Well, just take we gotta see what's going on under the beanie. Yeah. I mean there is a photo from I do when think he was like posting on 4chan with put put a shoe on his head and stuff. Like the thing is it's definitely a personality thing, I'm sorry to say. No, he's fine looking. Yeah, he's like he's, a, he's like a decent looking dude. He's, yeah, he's rich. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Maybe his RV smells bad, but you know, other than that, it's like, hey, are you just like you wanna, you just like you want to come back to my RV? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Joe Rogan and Alex Jones were here. You can still yeah. smell them on the seat. Yeah. Oh, that's not that bad. Here's a photo of him under the beanie. It's really not that bad. He's got typical male pattern. I mean, it's definitely deep pattern. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't speak on this. Okay, I can. I take Propecia. You can't speak on. I'm this, the hairline sir. king. This yeah, is you, like me dunking on like a like whatever. A short you got person, every fucking okay? thing. You got everything. Look at else. this. Look at this. I don't give a fuck about your hair, bro. You're like tall and jacked. I, I mean, I'm shit. fine right now. Thanks. Thanks to fucking. I hope you go bald. How about that? <gasps> I How fuck because you. you have everything else. You deserve to go bald. It's all guys like me have. Is the pr is the How hope and prayer you. that guys like you My go hair bald? Is but, Pepper is mad. <laughs> that's why I don't have it. That's why I don't have it out and about right now. But how dare you? Yeah, you know what? Fuck you. It's like it's that's like what you death. get for being six four. Yeah, <laughs> male pattern baldness. <laughs> um, but it's he actually looks totally fine. Actually, I think he looks better without the beanie because he wears it so deep, too, you know? Why doesn't he just go full bald? I don't just understand. Just, like, Dan, shave it off. Embrace it, man. You know, and people praise Dan. He he wears the dome with pride, and people love it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, white pride. <laughs> just kidding. Wow, there's a lot of Tim Pool memes just popped up. But uh, let's not go there. I think we're getting short. On, how, we we're, we got to be... We got to keep cruising. We're burning time here. Yeah, we're getting only got two hours. Oh, wow. Pool. Talk to her like an Okay, let's just watch adult. it. Let's like just, this is oh, what, the what world it, is that's doing. my Discord PFP. Oh, that's PFP. No, that's you. That's my that's my Discord PFP. It's not real. I just like They fucked with your teeth or something. Yeah, they put like the uh the smile filter on it, I yeah. think. Okay, yeah. Something not done not looking right there. Yeah, it looks like they're watching my Discord PFP in the in the second screen. <laughs> <laughs> they're like You know, I I don't I don't want to say I respect my children. I do. But it's weird. It's like, I can't, like, tell a four-year-old how things work. Mm. They right. see it. So I'm just like, we're turning Sanjay off now. And then she's throwing a fit, and she doesn't know why. You your four-year-old is not watching Sanjay and throwing a fit, bro. Why that is never happened. Yeah. That never happened. Why is she not, like, I don't know, watching Baby Shark or some shit? No, what don't turn off Sanjay Gupta. He's my favorite show. Like, Shut why up, Why is Alex. a dude telling my daughter Alex, do you know what you do next time? I got to turn this off. This is, this is scary.
Nobody's literally being like, Alex, your four-year-old doesn't watch Sanjay Gupta. Come yeah, that's on. really weird. It, it's a lie. Yeah. That's what you tell her. Yeah, it's very mm. scary. Well, children are a lot more conscious, a lot more aware. Oh, yeah. They actually have a lot more DMT going through their brain up until a certain age. The fuck you say? So they're uh, in touch. He's my favorite well. guy. I love that. He goes, tell your child this is very scary. <laughs> we want them to be scared of things, lots of things. This is a good, for yeah. the healthy child psyche. Be scared. This is you. Be scary. Of this. Uh, He's a brown man on the television. Okay. This is so, cult shit. Yeah. Yep. We're in a cult. Yes. This is yes, a cult. Dude. Tell us, Joe. Yeah. 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 Tell, yeah. tell, yeah. tell, tell us, Joe. Tell us, Joe. Joe Rogan. Speak to us, leader. How does the Kool Aid taste? Shut up, Joe. We are in a cult. Joe, start up. This information is not based on reality. This is a left wing cult, and they're they're pumping stuff out, and then they're confirming. This belief, they're they're all getting together and they're ignoring contrary evidence. Yes, they're ignoring any narrative that challenges their belief about what happened, and they're not looking at it realistically. They're only looking at it like you would look at it if you're in a fucking cult. Sounds it's like religion. I'm, I'm Sounds assume- like Joe Rogan talking about ivermectin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming they're talking about COVID, which is so fucking ironic because this man has gotten pretty much everything wrong. He ignores all the. You're science. talking about the health czar, bro. He, he you better sh- watch it. You know, That's yeah, Aaron he, Rogers he, doctor, bro. He turned into this figurehead on the right. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers, people are calling him for health advice. I'm sorry, can you suck your own cock? Yeah, that's right. Joe Rogan can. That's true. Allegedly. That, that, so that was a big story. Recently. I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna get my health information from that guy. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. His dick at the at the rate he takes ivermectin, he, he basically his his cum is 50 percent ivermectin at this point. So <laughs> he's on a permanent drip. Just deworming, deworming that <laughs> constantly worm. deworming. Yep. Yep. Weird left. It, well, cult is a religion that's just like yeah. it's just yeah. older. No, I, I had a bit about it. They're well, like, a cult, cult doesn't let you ask questions. So keep the joke going. Well, a cult is made by a guy and that guy knows it's a cult and a religion that guy's dead that's the difference the like religions are just cults i mean he's like doing longer. reddit you know, atheism memes and i like i don't even disagree with him all that much he's just saying like that like and economic and and even uh moral structure he's talking about his old bit about how like the difference between scientology and and, and like Catholic. But what is he that, talking about he's talking about fucking he's talking about covid treatments yeah he well, he's talking about, uh, I, I don't remember if this was about Kenosha or is he's talking about mainstream media, though. He's talking about liberal bias in mainstream media and how yes. cult like it is. Right. And um, obviously it doesn't stick there. But if he's making a comparison between religion and uh, like other cults uh, that are newer, then that I, I understand yeah. what he's saying. And that's what he's like. He's using that to expand upon his criticism of mainstream media. Like they, they actually benefit society. Like some some cults, they're based on rituals or things that people learned, mm. and they realize this is a better way to live their life. And but some of them are just based on the present moment of gathering the most amount of whether it, it is uh, influence or finances or what w- w- power, whatever the fuck it is. That's what this is. This Joe is and I totally agree. So the, the reason the reason the reason I called is <laughs> Joe Rogan, not, by the oh, way. I totally agree with you, Joe. You're so smart and brilliant. You're also six foot four, and you're super rich, by I, the way, and the powerful. Document. It was kind of sad seeing Alex Jones like suck Joe's boots so hard though. Like they all are doing it, but it's like, Alex, you're a fucking full grown like adult. Well, Alex is basically lost without Joe. I mean, it's Joe is the only on. reason he has any relevance left today. Nobody would be watching that show if it wasn't for Joe having him on. Yeah, and like and then now revitalizing him. You know, and now that he just got these these uh verdicts against him this motherfucker is going to be uh cock deep on joe this is his only chance well okay